So one thing that stuck out in the quarter to me, and I know many analysts as well, was the customer ads hitting a record even as we head into a post-pandemic world. Can you keep that sustainable? What do you attribute it to this past quarter as well? Yeah, I think we see it's customer demand because uh, more and more companies are saying they need to digitally transform their business. And whether that's in the pandemic or post-pandemic, whatever our kind of new normal will be, uh, you know, I think c companies are saying they have to take advantage of these digital technologies that allow them to save money, uh, have better customer experiences, uh, and really get that time to revenue faster. So we're seeing that same phenomenon, that same momentum in the marketplace. And we're very bullish, uh, as you saw with the very strong guide, as you alluded to, uh, that we're going to have a significant growth ahead. Can you sustain that pace, continue to hit record customer ads? I know you said last night that, you know, this is a big ocean. You guys are only in the early innings. Yeah, I think I think you hit the, the, the answer to the question is really implicit in the way you asked it around the TAM. We think the addressable market here is huge, and we think we're well less than 10% penetrated. So for us, it's really going to be about execution. And if we continue to scale our field organization the way we have the last several years, and I believe we can continue to scale that organization, the opportunity is there if we execute. So we're, again, very bullish that we'll continue to have that customer ad. We just passed a million customers, uh, which we we're you know, proud to announce, which is a huge uh, you know, thank you for all the DocuSigners for making that happen out there. Uh, but we think it's just the beginning because in the end, we believe every company should be using DocuSign and there's a whole lot more out there. Dan, how has customer behavior changed during this period, perhaps in, in ways that might remain? And also, I mean, I, I remember visiting you years ago in San Francisco and all the building going on. Uh, Apple is planning to have workers return to the office on specific days. What's your plan for that? So we actually believe that the construct about thinking about DocuSign is less about whether people are in the office or whether they're working from home. We see ourselves as a big participant in what we call the anywhere economy, John. And our view is that people are going to need to, both consumers and businesses, be able to transact with people wherever they want to do their agreements. And so we don't see a real change to our business if people go more back to the office because we think that the benefits they get from using the DocuSign technologies are really not determined by, by where they are. Uh, so from that standpoint, it doesn't make us any um, less bullish as more people return back uh, to the market. And that, that more secular trend that we see uh, driving the adoption of our technologies is because people are seeing those benefits of the cost savings, the time savings, that time to revenue. And then again, their customers having a better experience. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons we have a, you know, an NPS score that's in the 70s is because our customers know that their customers get value using our software. And that makes them want to use more DocuSign.